Gazelle electrical bikes. Don't buy them. Here's the reason why. First of all, I bought this bike with my own money and I did a lot of videos uh, previously um, talking about raving stuff about the company uh, because I had never interacted with their warranty department. And, you know, right around 6,444 miles, my bike literally broke down multiple problems, okay, from the engine all the way down to the transmission, the hub, um, like literally everything broke down on it at 6,444 miles. Uh, I was hearing popping noises um, from the hub when I was pedaling. I was hearing ticking noises when I pedaled from, from the Bosch engine. Um, and the most craziest part was that Here's the reason why I say don't buy it because this bike costs a lot of money. Uh, Gazelle bikes cost a lot of money. The one that I have is called the Gazelle Ultimate C380 Plus. And, you know, you're looking at the price of a car. However, if you buy a bike, and since this company is in a different country, they don't have good distribution and retail centers so you can buy a bike from a small shop or a local bicycle shop and they can go under and then you're not going to get any warranty in my situation what happened is i bought a sh my bike from a, from one state then i moved to a different state which is you know a high cycling state and there is no retail shop that will do warranty work on my gazelle ultimate electrical bike and my problem was at 6,444 miles, my bike literally just died. The engine died. Uh, like I said, it wouldn't even turn on. I was getting errors and so many different things. And I ended up calling 18 different bicycle shops in my local area, and not one of them would work on my bike because it wasn't their brand. Um, so they didn't want to talk touch it. I called the big names, track, specialize, all the way to the small guys. And I found one company that they were going to work on it. And I spent, you know, uh, $150 with them and they weren't able to solve my problem. So I just lost money. So, um, so I'm making this video for you is that if you buy a gazelle and you, and that store closes down, or if you move to another city or state, there's a high probability there's not going to be another Gazelle dealer in that city because this is such a small company and you're paying big bucks for this stuff. It's not like you're buying from one of those factories, um, manufacturer direct, like uh, Priority, where you're, you're buying the same exact bike or close to it for, for one-fourth of the price. So my recommendation to anyone is don't buy these high-end bicycles like track specialized gazelle especially gazelle because the warranty really really sucks and i'm talking about gazelle especially okay um now i had decent you know the gazelle just is one of the horriblest companies out there in my experience okay and i bought three different gazelles for them i spent fifteen thousand dollars plus with these guys i've done raving reviews now i didn't tell them i did these raving reviews but when i had warranty they wouldn't even cover it ladies and gentlemen um and the crazy thing is i couldn't find any other bicycle shops in my local area with, that would work on the gazelle so i was in a situation where i spent five thousand five hundred dollars not including accessories you want to add accessories add another 1500 bucks to it and I had a lemon bike that, that broke down on me in, in less than a year. Yeah, I put 6400 but that's nothing, right? And, and to spend that kind of money and not even have a store to work on it, it's ridiculous. And, you know, for that kind of money, if you divide it into the amount of miles that I got, you, you're, you're paying a lot more for, for a bicycle than you would, you know, a $1,000 you know, a month payment to a car. Right, um, because I only got six thousand four hundred and forty-four miles out of five thousand five hundred dollars, and now I'm stuck with a bike that I I can't ride. Um, it's super heavy, so I can't ride it like a regular bicycle because it weighs sixty-seven pounds. And I have reached to, to Gazelle themselves, and they really, honestly, were not very helpful. Okay, um, not in 
reimbursing me for the repair cost. The, you know, honestly, on a, this is why I'm doing this video. On a one to 10, I give them a zero, zero, because their customer service sucks, their warranty department is, is even worse. Okay, and so I want to do this video because I've done raving reviews for, for Gazelle, not because they paid me or because I was a sponsor, because, you know, if I find something good, I like to tell you guys, okay, but I want to tell you guys that this is not a good product be because the product itself is okay, but the company behind the product is really shady and, and scammy, okay, and it, it really pisses me off that some someone sells you something and they don't stand behind it, okay, and I've never dropped the bike. The bike's never been in a wreck. I, I've taken care of it. Like I said, I spent fifteen thousand dollars buying three of these bikes, um, and, I, and, and on top of that, I, I spend money on accessories. I, you know, I've done all the services required, but it's not my fault that a bicycle shop may close down and I can't get warranty. It's not my fault that I can move to a city that's one of the top cities in America for cycling, and there's there's not a bicycle retailer from Gazelle that's going to you know render their warranty they promised me because they said they have 10 year warranty they're going to have two year warranty have all these different stuff and that's one of the main reasons that i was willing to pay five times more four times more than another e-bike for example like priority or i could have went to rei and just bought their brand e-bike for just 1500 bucks right and if that bike broke down at after six thousand i could have bought another one from rei for the same exact price and i still will be ahead two thousand dollars because Fifteen hundred plus two is three thousand dollars, and I spent over five thousand five hundred bucks on this bike. So my recommendation is: do not buy Gazelle because the company is not worth a dime. Okay, they don't stand behind their product. They're actually very, very rude and very unhelpful. Even they sell you crap that breaks down in a year. Okay. Now my recommendation is: if you're ever going to buy an e-bike, don't don't buy a track either, or don't buy these expensive bikes because you know most of these guys don't know how to work on it. And this this is what I'm telling you: I, I called 18 different bicycle shops, and none of them would know how to work on it because of the carbon gate belt and and the internal drive and the electrical components of it. Um, so you're screwed. So my opinion is that if you're going to buy an e-bike, you're better off buying from one of these factory to to customers direct like trend or like priority because you can get a bike for one third one fourth of the price and let's say that bike breaks down in, in a year or two you can just get another one same model and you still be ahead thousands of dollars versus going to a premium company that that's just the fluff they're just the sell sleazy guys they just sell you something up front they promise you the warranty but they're not gonna you know redeem it because you know what is the point of paying so much money when you get your competitors for one fourth of the price and if it breaks down you can buy a whole brand new one and you're still ahead three or four thousand dollars right and now you have a spare bike for parts so my i highly do not recommend gazelle they don't stand behind their products and it's very very disappointing for for a company that claims that you know they're, they're the mecca of bicycling they've been around for a hundred and something years and they're not even going to want to pick up the, the bill on a bike that broke us after six thousand miles dude six thousand four hundred and forty four miles are you kidding me in the first year ridiculous ladies and gentlemen so i cannot recommend it this is my this is my own personal experience owning a gazelle I, I I wouldn't buy another Gazelle, and if I was going to buy another e-bike, I would just go through one of these factory direct consumers um, that have a good reputation. And you know, if it breaks down, I'd just buy another one, and I'll still be ahead three or four thousand versus buying one of these uh, high brands that promises you the world and don't even deliver on a broken good. All right. And the crazy thing is, when I talk to the Gazelle for warranty. They, they made it seem like I'm causing them trouble because my bike broke down. They're sitting behind their computer telling me that I should go somewhere to the nearest bicycle warranty place for Gazelle where I live is 100 miles away one direction, right? But I don't have a car because I bought into the hype of Gazelle and sell your car and ride a bicycle, right? So I don't have a car. It doesn't make sense for me to go 100 miles, get a hotel for three weeks, right and then cycle back another hundred miles just for them to get the warranty it doesn't even make any sense i'm gonna for the money that i'm gonna spend 
And I say three weeks, it's going to take three to four weeks for them to get the parts, to install it, to, to go back and fix it, stuff like that. Uh, to, to, I could just buy a brand new bike for that price because hotel is like 200 bucks a night, 100 bucks a night plus tax. You know, if I'm staying there for one month, that's, that's just another gazelle. I could just buy a gazelle ultimate, another one, and have this one as a spare. It doesn't even make sense that the remedy they're trying to offer me, and nor would they stand behind their warranty, you know, and it's ridiculous. So I'm going to keep you guys updated. Um, I'm going to take it to a shop and have them work on it. But, man, I cannot recommend Gazelle. Run away. Save your money. Uh, buy one of these companies direct to consumers because they're giving you pretty much the same stuff for a lot cheaper. But you know that if you buy something from them, you can't take it to the bicycle shop because no bicycle shop is going to work on it. Same thing with Gazelle, dude. No one's going to work on it. Track's not going to work on it. Specialized's not going to work on it. The local mom and pop shop's not going to work on it. They don't know how to work on uh, Viola and carbon belt and the Bosch, they, they don't know how to work on it. How do I know? I personally called 18 different bicycle shops and not one of them would touch it. And the company that did touch it took my 150 bucks, right? And couldn't even fix my problem, dude. So this is why I'm doing this for you because um, since I came out and said, oh, there's such a great bike, you know, I want to tell you the truth that they're not a great bike. And if you buy it, you, you'll probably will be sorry like me and have buyer's remorse. So this is why I'm doing this for you because I want you to win and giving your company, giving your hard-earned money to a company that doesn't stand behind their products is not going to help you win. Peace.